Hey guys, how's it going? 10.23 p.m. on January 19, 2016. Wanted to show you, this one's going to be a real quick video actually. Uh, very simple stuff actually. Uh, it involves the spotting of trains. So I showed some videos uh, recently, uh, if I get around to processing and uploading them. I take so many videos and then I never get around to processing and uploading them. Uh, then arrange them, then link um, to the wiki and all the other stuff. So there's tremendous amount of work involved and uh, thankfully I got some admins helping me out with that and uh, they continue to help me with that uh, as much as possible to help you guys out, especially the new users. So I got a train coming up. Um, it's about 10.24 p.m. So generally it's a good time of night for me to run something from Needles. Uh, this little section right here, if you're looking to do housework or if you're looking to basically have a very relaxing, uneventful uh, ride but slow, and you have the needle sub, this is a good uh, one to run. So once again, so this train's coming and this is why I was going to give them. I've already had a meet with this guy earlier. I put a video up, and all I did was bring a train from Barstow up to Daggett here. Uh, normally, I don't suggest we run trains out of a departure, oh, this was actually a crew change, uh, up to Daggett, a uh, small section. You know, basically you run trains that you intend to run, uh, you just don't run them to small sections for the heck of it. However, in the case of giving traffic for somebody, I could take this train and run him if I want to. Um, I encourage people to do that just to make it look busier for especially a lot of people because it gets kind of boring running by yourself. and. Thankfully, AI is coming. Anyways, I want to get this video short. I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here. So this train's coming up towards Goffs. I don't know if he's going to go any further, but I'm going to get a train at least started uh, tonight. So what you do in this case here is if you're looking to start a train from the beginning, um, I'm over well, I'm over my registry. I already went to it. Um, so you go through all the d various tabs, and like I said before, you can have a download link uh, where you just download this. So what you do is, uh, because it's originating from the needle sub, you go down further, and you can see there's a train uh, uh, further up um, that departed East Barstow. That was the one I met. Now, he's on the Cajon sub right now. So he departed back at uh, 941. It's 1026 right now. But here's the uh, link. So you got three trains that uh, were released, and the dates back on the 17th, 18th, and tomorrow afternoon another train will be released. So what happens is over the course of a cycle, as you can see from December 31st on to about, uh, I believe it's February 4th, is a 35-day cycle. It's all set up. So uh, we'll take the first one right off the bat. I'm not going to worry about the intermodal train. Um, just get the manifest going so that uh, these guys can have cars by the 27th, which is still a long ways away. So hopefully we'll get it going up to golf. So what you do is you highlight over this HTTPS, which is your download link. Now you make sure there's no work involved, like some, some places actually have work. Like this train has work at Barstow. You always want to make sure uh, you're checking to see where it's going if it has work. As you can see, most of these trades don't. They're just point A to point B trains, ni over 90% of the trains on our server does that. Um, so if you think it's, you have to know about switching and all that to be a member of RTS, um, that's one of the hu huge myths about our server. And, uh, you know, most of it's just running A to B. And um, the more we got running, the better it is, uh, especially these trains, because this helps Barstow uh, Hump Yard by bringing in... Uh, cars from Kansas City that gets redistributed by the hump. And so does this train here. This goes to San Bernardino uh, Intermodal. Uh, so we have E for our essential trains, but we also have our regular trains that don't even go into yards that just go from one place uh, one place to another. I guess, uh, well, Phoenix, yeah, Phoenix to Los Angeles is one. Uh, uh, B. Cloric, for example, a vehicle train uh, that just gets deleted down the Bakersfield Main Line, hence the uh, deleted part. Uh, once it gets off the map. So again, I'm going on a bit of a tangent. It's going longer than I expected, but anyways. So you click, you go to this, and then you click on this. Now I already have them on my system, but I'll download it anyway just to show you.
so anyways i edited out the portion about signing in um, just because it showed my email address i didn't want uh, people to see that so hopefully i remember to edit that uh, i don't want any more spam if i can help it so you click on the uh, the download link this will open up like this it'll show you actually what it looks like so if you want to see it i don't know why it does it that way it used to just allow you to uh, download it so you want to download it and it's over here depending upon your operating system uh, it'll go to different different places so it's H H Kansas City bar 9 so you go into here go to your downloads and there it is right there so what you can do is from there you can do click on that hit control C if you have it set up for your recent places you can do that so you get your roots uh, trains you now see that's Mojave sub so we want to go into the needle sub you want to be in the right uh, the route um, so I'm just looking at it uh, across here we go needle sub down here and go into trains controls uh, control V to paste so it says copy and replace um, now it says it's newer it's actually as you can see it's the exact same file but let's assume it's not um, don't do copy and keep both files because the file names will you'll end up having both of them you want to actually replace if you've downloaded one before you want to replace this so copy and replace and continue okay so that's copied and replaced now um, 10 30 p.m. yeah but it's 10 31 so it's it's replaced it, uh, the XML file uh, for that which is perfect that's what you wanted to do so from there I think we can get out of that yeah let's get out of that and once again we can submit another response this was from before if, in the form so this is just the forms page um, HKCK bar 9 so you go into your registry now HKCK bar now see it starts with 8 you can type it all out or you can just go because I believe 9 is the right one we're doing yeah okay and you want it departing you want it on not Barstow Yermal this time now you want to go all the way down to needles and this changes. Uh, Florida has a different uh, setup, and so does Silkirk. And you want to go all the way down. Usually, this is sorted from one end to the other. So we want to go to needles. Uh, I know from experience that it'll depart. It'll spawn on main two. And then submit. And you can see this goes to departing, and notice the link disappears. That's so nobody else um, spawns that up. That's all that's for. Now. If you were to, um, I'll just spawn this up anyways into the sim here. You go into, uh, you go up to your file, you go to, it's going to be longer than I thought it was, train sub, blah, 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 needle sub. Okay, so I lied, this is going to be a longer video than I thought it was, so it's not that hard. I'm just going on for different things and I'm thinking of different stuff so you're looking for H key H Kansas City bar 9 uh, don't worry about the dates the dates uh, will change uh, depending it says 1929 uh, they have a different date system in here that's all that is Scott's got something he's we know so just our GR for Roger and there, my train just popped up there. And you, wanna, you can do all auto EOT, auto control breakers, all the other stuff, or you can start it up if you want to. Just have a quick look at your train. There's some engines over there at Needles. That's for some of the bare table stuff. And as you can see, what RTS does, uh, for those of you who are wondering what it does, I'll just put on my rear lights there, tra trailing at 581. 
you can see it starts putting tags like for this one's going to UP North. Um, currently it does only empties and loads. It doesn't do random loads. Uh, that's something down the road that I want to get uh, put in. But uh, it's got empties for Watts, and, uh, another empty going to Las Vegas from West Colton. So all these are generated through Waybills. So this is a, a very good typical uh, generation. Um, so this train was generated through the RTS software. It's all set up. As you can see, you got the various car types. Uh, it is similar, but changes. There you got some, got some grain going to Frito Lay. Uh, another one there. Stuff for San Diego, more going to UP North, and then the train itself. And um, from there, you just go into the external dispatcher and set yourself up. And I might as well go 15 minutes. I apologize for saying it was going to be a short video, but um, what I'll do here is I want to show you something real quick too, and then I'll edit all these tonight if, if I remember. So uh, for external dispatcher, if you want to cancel your signals, you can right mouse click once the train's acquired, go west, and this is in the external dispatcher, and then drop the signals. That'll cancel all your signals for you. So if you're wanting to cancel your own signals you can set that up in the external dispatcher that's how you spawn a route and we're going into the siding at Goffs. Uh, now what I'll do is even though it's early I'm going to I'm going to show you real quick how you do a crew change. Say I'm all the way up at Goffs and I want to do a crew change as long as you're on the same route which we're on the needle sub right now. There's other examples, like if you're starting at Barstow, you're in Barstow, and then you head into another route, you can't use this technique. But as long as you're on the same route, which is um, over here, the, I hit edit this time, so it brings up everything that was already in it. What route you're on. It has to be the route that you're on. So if this changes, you can't use the edit because the system won't, it, it'll allow you to do it, but it won't pick up properly in the registry. So what you want to do is if you hit crew change and then you go into here. Now this is assuming that we have run all the way to Goffs. Then what happens is as you're going along you're up to West Goffs now and then you're going into the siding. Right? So that's what we're going to do. So this is what we would do at the end of our trip. And when you submit that, that departing changes the crew change and it shows it as West Coffs. Now I'm going to change it back again just because we haven't done that. So we're actually departing from Needles. From Main 2. So you can change that. You can do multiple entries uh, if you make a mistake. So let's assume we made the mistake. So now we're back to departing again with Main 2. And uh, that's about all there is to it. I apologize for the video being a little bit longer. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Uh, as you can see, my signal's set up. And now well, we got a minute. Might as well show you. Um, so you've got the, the loads, the empties. Uh, 1.7. Um, the waybills are set up in such a way so that it, it will meet or exceed the minimum HPT. Uh, only by the number of engines it takes to meet that HPT. So this is a 10,547 uh, ton train, which is really heavy. Uh, 1.7 HPT. 1.5 is the minimum we use for needles. So this will probably take us a good two hours. I ran one the other night that took uh, two hours. So yeah, it'll take two hours to get up there. And we got 71 loads and 15 empties. So this is all generated through RTS, the RTS software. And uh, that basically gives us automatically uh, tags uh, all set up for our switching uh, in the humps at Barstow and then onto either other trains or local industries. So that's the beauty of the RTS system uh, in a nutshell. So if you have any questions, uh, send us a post or leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.